Sorry I lost you guys. Self-filming's ridiculous. Um, so I removed the cap so I can have the oil drain quicker. And now I can work on getting that filter to drain. Um, and if you remember from the Bobcat video, what we did was we poked the filter and drained the filter before we took it off. Well, on this one, obviously, we can't do that. Um, but Subaru has a nice little dish. And just to make this filter drain more completely and, you know, so I can have less oil in the trash, I'm going to puncture the top of it. So I got my pick, set my pick. I'm going to try to figure out where to put the phone. Let's see. All right, so you guys see there. So I got my pick, and I just give it a little tap. And that's going to help relieve. I'll do one more. So that's going to help wipe off my tool, wipe off the top. That's going to help the filter drain out fully, and all that oil is going to go back into the engine and drain out the bottom. Um, so I don't have a mess taking that filter off. So I put those tool backs, those tools back, let that filter drain, wipe off all this dirt, and then I can check that filter. The filter's really, really tight on there because it's hot. So I need to get my strap wrench. Um, I'll, and I'll check if we have a smaller strap wrench, but you guys remember how we got a filter off if we don't have a small strap wrench, remember? So all our strap wrenches are too big. They're not going to offer any enough compression or enough enough pressure. So we're going to have to do it with something else. So let's walk back to the tool shed. See what we got. Remember last video we punctured that filter with or we used the on the fuel filter on the Bobcat we punctured it with a pick and used that pick for leverage to turn it. So we could do that but you know it's kind of you know a little messy it's a little bit of a hack job to do. So we're going to tools. And what do you guys think? What could we use to get around that filter? I'm thinking these channel locks might fit. So let's see if we can use a pair of channel locks just to break that seal and then we can do it by hand. Again, sorry about self filming. So while I'm gonna getting ready for that, I'm gonna check my pan. My pan's okay. You always wanna make sure you have a large enough pan. And it looks like those channel locks might barely fit on there. And yeah, I was able to get a little bit of grip on there just to break the seal. And then I can remove that filter by hand. Filter's still got a little oil in it. I just leave it there. Then instead of picking that filter up, dragging it across the room and leaking oil everywhere, I'm gonna go ahead, get the new box, and put that filter in it. So I got my new box. This will just save a little bit of a mess pick it up, put it in there, close the lid, 
and then go put it on my rag or right into the trash or into the metal recycling area. So that way I didn't have any mess. So what am I gonna do with my new filter before I put it on? You guys remember what we did with the last filter? Is see that rubber gasket? We're gonna lubricate that. Before that, I'm gonna take my rag, clean off where it, the seal sits, make sure there's no dirt or grime or nothing got in there. So I got a nice clean surface, got my new oil, so I got my finger dipped in oil, I lubricate the top of that. Okay, so it's nice and hydrated. Put that filter back on. What kind of wrench am I gonna use to tighten it? No wrench, just hand tight. That filter's not gonna go anywhere. Just put it on snug. If I want, I could take the, a white pen, uh, marker pen and mark the, the mileage if I want, or I can write a note and leave it in the car so I know when to do it. So now that the oil's, you know, it's, it's pretty much drained. Another thing I like to do, which I, I could have even done when I was doing that filter, is I'll get my cap, it's nice and clean, and I'll just set it over that, that so nothing falls in there. All right, guys. So I'll catch up with you in a second. And yeah, be taking notes, know these steps. It's gonna be the same for a lot of different vehicles. And when you guys get back, we'll be, you guys will be doing it and I'll be supervising. All right, later.